before we'll start the tutorial, let me show you first my marks. I have an online store in Spreadshirt and this spring known as Spring, where you can buy various apparels and drinkwares that most of them I designed it myself. Link on my store are provided in the description below so you can check it out and you can choose different products with different designs. You even have the options to choose which product you like most. If you want to see more products, you can scroll it down and click the load more for more interesting designs and exciting products. If you want to surprise your loved ones with gifts, this might be a good option. So guys, if you want to buy one of these products, it means a lot to me because it helps maintaining my channel. So thank you guys. Hey guys, welcome to my After Effects tutorial. For those who are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Click the notification bell for updates. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this. I already imported all the assets and elements that I'm gonna be using in this project. So now I will create a composition, new composition and I will name it C1 Shape 1. And I will uncheck this lock aspect ratio. I will change the width to 180 and the height probably is 200. And I will use 30 frames per second and the duration will be 30 seconds and the background color will be black and click OK. Create again another composition and I will name it C2 row 1. And then this time I will change the width to 1920 and the height will be 1080 and then check the lock aspect ratio still 30 frames per second half resolution and the duration will be 30 seconds and the background color will be black and click ok i will skip because i have to create four more compositions so now these are all the compositions that we created as you can see in here we are already done with all the compositions that we need i will create a folder and i will name it scene one and I will highlight all the compositions that are required in order to create this scene one. And I will drag it down that folder. So now it's already belong to the folder scene one. So this is what we need. Now we will click the shape one. Go to shape tool and double click this one. In order to create a mask, you can see this. Handle here, just move it up. In order to change the radiant color, the angle, drag this down too until you are satisfied with what you want in terms of the color of the gradient and then click the pan behind tool and move the anchor point to the top and make this layer to be a 3d layer and then go to the rectangle and change the roundness to about 15. so the corner now is round close it press r as you can see here there's an x rotation just click the stopwatch to create frame Go back to the beginning and change to negative 75. And then highlight these two keyframes. Press F9. Easy is it? Close. After that one, you have to open here and then copy all this line here. Press the rotation and I'll click it so that you will create an expression. All you have to do this uh, expression, you have to delete it, paste the copied expressions you have. Now, there's a bouncing motion here, which is good, okay? Close the layer. 
press Control D to duplicate it. Go to the gradient and change the gradient like this. And click OK and then move your handle probably higher. The lower also you have to move it a bit higher to create the another gradient color. I think that is good enough. Press U to reveal the keyframes. Press the opacity by clicking Shift T and go back to the beginning. Click this stopwatch and go to the keyframe here that it has to be in line. Change the percentage of opacity to zero and then highlight it. Press F9 to easy is it. Now it's time to add a camera by going to layer. New. Camera. I will just use 35mm preset camera. Click OK. Press P to open position. And I will change the value on Z position which is negative 175 and I will change it to negative 178. The reason for this one is that I just don't want to make my shape attach to the canvas that I have at the back. So after this one, I have to close it and go to Composition 2 which is C2 Row 1. Go to Folder, Project File, open it up, drag down the shape 1. As you can see that there's a shape in there and we want it 50% scale so that it is smaller. So press S, change it to 50%. Press the keyboard B for position. I can drag this one about here. But it seems that I don't trust my hand. So I need only to change this X position and Y. So it's accurate. So I will change this for 45. And this one here is 50. So now as you can see here, it's already at the corner. But we still have to create a rows for about 20 shapes. So all we have to do is to duplicate this layer for about 20 times by clicking Control D. Highlight it all and press P again for position. Change all this X position here to make the distribution even. I will just add 92 from 45. It's 137. And then the third one, 137 plus 92 is equal to 2 of 29. So I have to skip because I don't want you to wait until I'm finished this one because it takes too long. So now we are done placing all the shapes in a row. As you can see here, the distance is very even by doing these figures in here by setting it up. So the next move is to click this one, Control A. So to select everything and then click U. I will move each of the layers in every three frames. Click the open bracket and then click the third layer. Move page down for about three frames and then press again the open bracket. Click the fourth layer, press the page down twice and then click again the open bracket. But I will skip this one guys because it's gonna be very long and I don't want you to wait so I'll be back. Now we are done moving our layers every three frames. When we play this one, you can see the movement. So this is what we need. So now we will go to C3. All we have to do here is to drop down the C2 row 1. And you can see if I will move this play head, you can see that there is a row in here. But we need to again copy this one to fill in all the canvas with these layers. So we need for about... 11 copies of it so i will again press ctrl d duplicate it 11 times highlight all and press the p to show the position and this time i will change the y position 540 i will add 105 on it so the second will be 648 and the third one 756 plus 105 so the result is 864 but I will again skip guys. So now guys I'm done. Just to let you know that it's only 9 duplications. The one is the original. Supposed to be 11 but when I saw it it's already filled the canvas with this row. So by using 10 rows only. We are now done with changing the Y position. So all I have to do is to highlight it all and press U. And then move these rows about three frames each press the page down 
and then highlight this second one and we will move it by pressing the open bracket key and then another one right here press one two three for the page down and then press the key open bracket so that it will be flashed to the playhead and i will just skip so when we play this one this is now what it looks like All we have to do is to go to the next composition. Now we are in the C4 or composition 4 which is the placeholder. What we will do here is to drag down our images or image or video clips or GIF. It's up to you guys. For me, I will just use image in here. So I will drop it down. Press the scale. I will create a keyframe choose the scale to about 140 and then move forward my playhead to about six seconds 140 to 100 highlight this one it easy is as you can see if we will play this one there is already a movement in our image so now we will go to scene one all we have to do is to drag down the composition tree which is the row one drag down the placeholder i will change the c3 rows one to stencil alpha duplicate this rows one and then first i will change the blending mode to multiply i still have to toggle the switches make this one check the collapse transformation i will add an effect called levels all we have to do is to change the histogram to be like this and then again i will add one more effect radial shadow and then we'll change this projection distance to about five and i will duplicate this uh, radial shadow and then i will change the opacity to about 70 percent and the projection distance is 10 duplicate this uh, layer <laughs> but this time i have to change the histogram like this close it and then delete this radial shadow change the blending mode for this one to screen and then i will add a tent on it so now we will create a light by going here in the layer find the light and i will use point light and click ok drag this up a bit after that i will create an ambient light the light options the intensity would be lighter from the 80 percent now we are done with our scene one we have to go to the main and drag down the scene one and we will try to play it nice so we will again create the scene 2 all you have to do when you create a scene 2 is to create a new folder and we will name it scene 2 and then highlight all the scene 1 compositions and then duplicate it after duplicating it, drag it up to where the scene 2 folder is. So all the scene 2 now is in here. Before you double click it, make sure that the scene 1 is already cleared in your timeline. Be sure that this one in here in, in the timeline should be cleared. And then double click this one so you can tweak everything in here. All the compositions if you want to tweak it. But because we don't want to tweak the shape 1, we'll just clear it. And then we will arrange these compositions so that it's easier for us to identify. First, we will change the image on the place holder clear this one by deleting it we will change the photo probably this photo and then change the text probably instead of beauty we will just do a fashion and then go to rows 2 all we have to do here is to change again the placement of the layers so in order to do that all we have to do is to highlight first place your layer here at the beginning 
press the open bracket again we will move these layers to three frames each but it's up to you which frames do you want to decide if you want four frames it's okay too so i will just keep these guys so for the scene 2 the row 2 i changed this layers and move it opposite with the scene 1 as we can see when we play it the direction of the movement is now opposite with the scene 1 so we will now go to the rows to tweak this one here select all put it back to where it was and move again its rows its layers opposite to the scene 1 i will skip guys so that you will not wait so this is the composition 3 rows 2 in scene 2 that we did tweaking it oppositely with the scene 1. Now guys we have to replace these layers in here because as you can see there's only C2 row 1. We should supposed to be changing from C2 row 1 to C2 row 2 by pressing and hold out. We have to replace the C2 row 1 to C2 row 2 by pressing R and hold it. Drag the C2 row 2 to your timeline to replace the row 1. All the layers here should be replaced by the C2 row 2. All you have to do is just to highlight it, the row 1, highlight the row 2, and then drag it down to your timeline. So the row 1 will be changed into C2 row 2. That's what I have done in here. And then go to scene 2 and also replace all the ones in here by the twos first i will replace the c3 row 1 by c3 row 2 i also have to change the c4 placeholder 1 by c4 placeholder 2 so now the image has changed we'll go now to the main drag down the scene 2 and go your play it to about 5 seconds Press the open bracket and let's render it. See guys, it's cool. So I hope that you learned a lot from this. We are done. Just comment below if you want to. Like and press the notification bell for the new videos that I'm gonna be uploading. Thank you guys. And thanks for watching.